Hi everyone, this is Kevin Dart from the Fastener Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your properties for the laser cutter and engraver. Now this is the same file I've been working on, so everything looks pretty good. Everything's color coded, everything's cut and trimmed to where it needs to be, and I know the size of my material. So it's pretty straightforward from here. I can go up to File, Print, because the software sees the laser engraver cutter as a printer. And when this comes up in Rhino, I'm going to see that my printer is the epilog engraver. And I can change the properties here. So as I can see that there are a lot of different options right here. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over here and turn autofocus on. And I can change my material size because I wrote it down or I have it, have it written down. And it was about three and a quarter by six. Remember I'm going to make it a little bit larger just to make sure that everything cuts within that material size. Now the next thing is this job type. <clears throat> this is essentially telling me whether I want to engrave something, whether I want to cut something, or do both. Now for this file I'm just going to do both. Vectors are for cutting typically, rasters are for engraving. For an image, which I technically do have, which shows those blocks, I can change the DPI or the resolution. So I'm going to change that to 600, and I can now play with these other settings over here for the raster settings for engraving and the vector settings for cutting. These settings are going to be found on a sheet that's typically right around the laser, and I will also post this to the Fastener Lab website. Now, on this sheet, I'm going to be cutting quarter inch material, and I'm set at 600 dpi, which if I look, my speed is going to be 60, and my power is going to be 100. But we're never actually going to go up to 100. We're going to go up to 98, just to keep uh, the longevity of the laser going. One thing is the engraving direction. I'm always going to do bottom up. And that just has to do with where the ventilation is placed on the laser. Bottom up will allow uh, the soot to be sucked up towards the vent or the back of the laser. And that way when you're cutting, the laser will engrave over the soot or anything like that. So when you're finished, you get a nice clean engraving. Uh, here for vector cutting. I'm going to change this to 10. Again, 98. I'm not going exactly all the way to 100. And the frequency I'm going to move down to the chart says 500. I can use the slider bar and get it close. And then I can just dial it in from there. Uh, vector sorting is fine. Now all these settings are good if I were to just do a standard cut, which would mean just something with just black lines or uh, black blocks, black images, things like that. But one thing I'm going to do is that we're doing uh, color mapping. So I'm going to come over here to color mapping. I'm going to check this on right here. And then I can change the color depending on what it is. And these are the RGB codes that I was talking about when setting up the file. So it's easier to just, you know, type in 250 or just use the standard colors. So we actually have green, so I'm going to click green, which is 255, which is good. And now I can adjust what these are. So I'm actually, green is only going to be engraving. So I'm going to turn vector off. I can leave air assist on. And I'm actually just going to leave, do the same properties. So 60 speed, 98. I don't have to worry about frequency, but if I want to, I can just change it to 500. And because this color already exists in the uh, chart over here, I can hit this arrow button and it will change our properties. So now if I look here, I can see that the speed is 60, power 98, frequency, engraving, yes, cutting, no, error assist, yes. So now I can do the same thing for blue, which 255. Again, I'm going to be doing engraving. 
So I can change all these properties to engrave. Now all of these engraving settings will also have the same DPI as what I set in my general settings. And I turn vector off. All right, so that's good. I can hit this big arrow. All right, so now when I go back to general, I can see that uh, these settings are for anything that's black. And these settings are for anything that's color coded in the file. So now I can hit OK. Now see how in my properties I change the um, material size? That's essentially seeing the in this print setup as the page size. So one thing I can come down here is I can change the output and the scale. Now I want my scale to stay one to one. All right, so one inch would equal one inch and so forth. But I can change where I'm viewing things. So I can set the essentially the view window. So if I hit set, see this little sort of ghost window that pops up. Now if I were to click anywhere outside of any one of these outside points, I would actually be changing the scale of it. Uh, I don't want to change the scale. If I click outside that box, it would ask me to make a new window and a different scale. I don't really want to mess with the scale. So I'm going to click the center, and then I can move that around. Now the easiest thing is to use your snaps and say center it. So I'm going to center it to that box that I made right there. Bam. So now it's nice and centered. I'm going to hit enter. And I can see that my image fits nicely within that page size. But again, I don't want this box in here, so I'm just going to hit close. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to hide that. Control H and I can hide it. And I'll go back to print. And it should have saved everything. There we go. And I'm ready to now turn the laser on and set up my material, and then I can uh, start cutting and engraving. Now, one thing you want to be sure of before you start cutting and engraving is you want to uh, go back to your properties and just give it a once over again. Now, I want autofocus on so that the laser is at the proper height from the material. My DPI is 600. I'm doing engraving and cutting. These settings look good for the proper material and DPI, bottom up, cutting a quarter inch wood. That looks good. Color mapping is on. I don't have any red, so I don't have to worry about that. My green settings are good. My blue settings are good. So all of that looks good. So then I can hit OK. And then once my material is all set up, the laser's on, then I can hit print. But I will save that for the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.